also. 349 Fenton. Well, today we are in Middletown, Maryland, and we are sitting outside the Goodwill. Today is a busy day at the Goodwill because there's barely any parking. And I'm like, are they at the Chinese buffet? The dentist? I don't know. Maybe they are. Um, we're about to find out because we're going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Looks like all these sombreros are still here. This is carved from stone. Has a giant chunk out of it. Could this be Lennox? $39.49. Looks like the Lennox jeweled set. It is made in China. And um, the actual Lennox nativity sells for good money. This one is not Lennox. It's made to look like the Lennox nativity. That is plastic. <laughs> I was hopeful that that was going to be glass. Alright. This is adorable. What is this? There's a little medallion there. Collector's edition. Saturday day. Saturday day. It's a Saturday day. Saturday evening post. Alright then. Let's keep moving. This is a whole thing. Oh my gosh. You know what these are? These are curtain poles. Those are neat. $8.49 each. Well, those could be worthwhile. I might grab those. Well, I stopped filming just at the right time because they literally just dumped a huge thing of glass in the back. Like it like hurt my whole inside to hear that crash. Also, $3.49 Fenton. Little glass, all good. Gosh, this vanity mirror is really neat too. Let's gently just shift this stuff out of the way. Vintage vanity. There we go. Ta-da! Sweet. And also, scoochie scoochie. Okay. All right, that was exciting. Now let's see what else we can find on the shelves. This is pretty cool. Fancy and or neat. And then, I don't know though. That is like intense. What are those? I don't know, there's, there's a hair in there. <laughs> There you go. Put this set together. That's nice. Market scene. Little fold scrap. Alright, I'm gonna keep moving this way. Hmm. That looks like a silver plate. This is vintage. This has a um, OMC, OOMC sticker on the bottom. It's a foil sticker, obviously. It's been peeled off, but House of Hong. I'm curious about that one. I might try to look that one up. Put that in there. I really want to get down that aisle, but I can't, so in the meantime, I'm going to come check this out again. <laughs> floral frog. Heck yeah, vintage floral frog. It's got a crack. California something. Oh my goodness, look at that kitty cat. Made in Taiwan. Made in Germany. Looks like a mama pig and a baby pig. I, I buy for myself, not yeah. to resell. I buy quirky things that I like. I like quirky. 
All right, here we go. Let's see if we can find anything. Maybe we'll find something because we had to wait so long. Ooh, what's that behind that mug? That is Portugal. Look at that. And it is 8.49. I don't see any chips or cracks. All right. I like that. Let me pick that up. It's got a creature on it. What is this? It is a bird. Um, is that how it's supposed to be? I feel like it's supposed to have a longer tail. I think the tails are broken, right? Maybe? Yeah, the tails are broken off. That's a bummer, because that's really neat. That's a wooden wall pocket. No, it's not. It's plastic, made to look like wood. It's home coat. What is this? Is it a dragon? I can't tell. <laughs> it looks kind of like it has claws, but I don't know if that's a dragon. All right, um, this, is, this is the aisle I wanted to get down, and it's kind of um, not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I had great expectations. <laughs> That's the name of a book. I read that book when I was in seventh grade. Great expectations. Um, okay, that's actually kind of adorable. It's a Dutch scene, but it's made in Japan. So before I get out of here, I am going to look up these curtain poles. Um, also, I'm kind of on the fence about the floral frog because it is cracked. We'll see about that. Um, also, so we're going to look this up and we're going to look these up because these are $8.50 each and I want to make sure that it's worth picking. That's a lot of $8.50 each in that pile. That's a lot. So it looks like these are all over the place and I really don't feel good enough about them to pick them up so I think I'm gonna end up putting that bundle of tie backs back on the shelf um, this is here a set of two sold for $70 um, but they were free shipping you know and those are heavy those are like solid brass I believe and then down here 25 for a set of two and then we're getting down like they're all across the board I don't feel comfortable enough I'm going to put those back Oh yeah, we have to look this up too. Okay, so let's put these back and then we'll look that up. I saw this from the other side of the shelf. <laughs> I'm gonna dig for it. I move this. I'll pull this off. Pottery burn. And then the one behind it is also pottery barn. Come here, you. Pottery barn. Ooh, all right. Some pottery barn can be worth really good money, so I'll grab those. <laughs> it actually took looking from that side of the shelf this way to see them. All right, so I am on Wars Point. I couldn't find anything on eBay. It's kind of what I suspected. Um, I think it's a restaurant, House of Hong. House of Hong. Here's a tiki mug. Um, sold for thirty-six. I, w I haven't been able to find this exact one. I think I'm just gonna grab it. For what they're asking, it's worth just grabbing and researching later. Donating back if I can't get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Sometimes it's not worth standing here researching something. Time is valuable. 149. Hmm. Okay. Deep Frost and Willow. Kerns. This one I like. It looks like. Ooh, looks like it has some age. I think it's a print, but I love prints of kids, ladies, girls with birds. It's my thing. Stay. Here we go. <laughs> the first time I came by here, this was like this, right? Just picked. Just came by again. It's like this. Oh, it's so much nicer like this, right? Picked it up, I turned it on. Like, oh, there's a data, oh, there's a signature on there. Can't read it. And then I hear something inside. Hmm? See, this is getting more interesting. There is a, there is a thing in here. Jerry Becker. 
There's a whole write-up write -up about this Jerry Becker, who apparently made this gorgeous vase that if you hold it this way, it's much nicer than this way. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look up Jerry Becker. It is definitely Southwest themed, like the sticker or the um, little tag says. Let's take a moment and look up comps on Jerry Becker and see what it sells for. It appears as though Worth Point has one record on Jerry Becker. It may be because his signature is so faint it's difficult to read, and his signature is consistent of um, initials. <laughs> so you actually have to find a little tag in the vase to know, hey, this is Jerry Becker. Uh, but here is a Roadrunner sold for 38 bucks in 2019 on eBay. I didn't actually look at eBay, so I, I don't know what's listed on eBay, but I had Worth Point up already, and so that's what we went with. So, I don't know, I think that's a pretty good turnaround if we could sell that for close to 39 bucks, so. All right, I'm satisfied if you're satisfied. Are we satisfied? I feel like it's time to get out of here. I've been here too long. It's one of those days. All right, she just went to go look for a box. I just realized that the, um, the crack doesn't go all the way through. So, meh, at least there's that. Alright, total spend there was $75. 75 And, you know, we walked in, and there was the fresh cart. So, I guess it really doesn't matter. This morning I got um, an early start. Normally I get a later start and it's just, you know, it's all about timing <laughs> getting there when the fresh carts hit and it doesn't really matter if I get an early start, I get a late start, just got to be there when the timing is right. And I don't know when the timing is right. <laughs> I just luck out sometimes. Um, but anyway, that Fenton, um, Fenton was probably, probably my favorite. I'm not sure about those Pottery Barn vases. I didn't actually look them up, but Pottery Barn does pretty good. So hopefully, even though it's contemporary, I'm gonna do all right on that. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Probably a buy it now item because they're heavy and big. Anyway, I'm gonna get on the road. I'm gonna head home. It is 3.30 now and I have to be home by five because Andrew has a coin auction tonight. Um, usually he is home um, to relieve Jess um, on days when I go to Maryland, but not today. I gotta be home be home for Jess. Um, so well, I will see all of you guys tomorrow. So long. All right. Well, today I am here at the Antiques Marketplace of Le Moine, and it's been about two weeks since I was here last, and they have a pretty good turnover of inventory. So I'm hoping today we could find some treasures to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. That's kind of main artwork. The real thing. And it's got a bottle of Coke there. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see what we can find today. There's a neat mid century modern lamp. Becky has a pretty little Valentine's Day display. I love all the pink, it looks very nice. There's a muffiner set for ten dollars, Noritake. I just sold a set on eBay. It wasn't paid for, but I sold a set. <laughs> it did pretty well for us. Had it been paid for. So I'll stick that in there as long as there's no damage. If it had been paid for, it would have I could have said, oh, it did really well, but this is I like this. You can guess why. It's got a bird on it. It's ten bucks. This is JT's ten dollar booth. <laughs> yeah, that bird makes it. Made in Japan, peach luster. Figural bird. Stick that in the basket. Peacock vase milk glass. Ten bucks. I feel like I could double that. Pick that up for 10. <laughs> Clickety clank. You guys love that sound. I see a pretty piece of pottery. Decorated jar, no lid. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. 
That's a shame because that is really pretty. This is more of JT stuff around this corner and we are making our way down this way. Here kitty kitty. My goodness, it's adorable. It's like a pumpkin cat. That's exactly what it says. It says pumpkin cat. Twenty six dollars plus twenty percent off. Get it in my basket. All right, let's see what else we can find. Where the little bunny? Hard glass duck. Twenty dollars. I'd have to guess that's probably. Not Morano. I'll leave that guy right there. <laughs> These guys are so cute. Look at their eyeballs. Oh my, that's cast iron. I thought that was pottery. I was like, oh my gosh, that's adorable. I think that's the second time I've done that today, actually, where I've picked something up thinking that it was pottery and it's been cast iron. Like rarely ever happens and that's twice in one day. I am wearing my glasses even. All right let's check the front shelves. A lot of the times that's where the newer stuff ends up. Like this Artisania Rinconata. 24 on that elephant. Appears to be in pretty good shape. I, pre I do pretty well with the Artisania Rinconata. You can see AR there on the bottom. Well, it does have a tendency to chip because, like my nail, <laughs> because of the texture, but I don't really see any chips on that. And it has its tusks there. So I'll stick that in my basket with a kitty cat because it is 20% off. This, this is adorable, that Westie. There are always such cute, kitschy figurines here. What is this? A Nesco winking cat. The yellow ones. This creamer here is 12 bucks and I was drawn to it because of the color. Although I am realizing there is a chip there. That's a shame. I thought maybe it had some age to it. I don't think I'm going to mess with it with that chip though. It looked promising. The spoof is 40% off. And it's been 40% off since I started coming here. I think it was 10 years ago. <laughs> it's been 40% off for 10 years. There's a pretty little art glass paperweight. 20 bucks, but 40% off. I don't see any markings or signatures on that. Oh, I like that cobalt color. There's a decanter in the back. Let's pull that out. What does it say? Made in Spain. 30 bucks, 40% off, and there's four cups that go with it. That's not bad at 40% off. Maybe we'll grab that as well. This blanket is really neat. I imagine it's probably made in India. With that elephant theme. Just love the fabrics. Look awesome in a boho decor. 125 on that. That's really neat. Mmm, what do we have here? In Kenny's booth. $69.99 plus 20% off. Wow. I'm going to take it. If it doesn't have the resale value, I'll just keep it. I'm gonna leave the toad though. Kenny has a few other bottles in here that are really nice. I just don't know. 
see this green one? I'm gonna put my basket down because it's getting a little heavy. $17.99. I know the plain amber ones can sell for about 30. 30 to 40 without the stopper. This one has a nice floral pattern on it. And let me take you over here because I spotted another one. This one is teal. $17.99. That one's missing a stopper as well. I think that's still a good deal with the percentage off and without the stopper. I sold them before without the stopper. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe we'll find one with the stopper. <laughs> we found at least one. There's a squirrel. $11.99. That's just fun. <laughs> Eleven ninety nine. You know, things that just make me happy and make me giggle are worth buying if the price is right. And eleven ninety nine is right. What else do we see in Kenny's booth? He was here he was leaving as I was coming in, which means he was probably back here stocking. $9.99. I like the opalescence in that. What's the what's the percentage on? <laughs> I keep forgetting. I don't see this line anywhere. They're all facing that direction. 20% off. 20% off of $39.99. Okay, I'll do it. Here is a pretty white opalescent dish with a pattern on it that I'm not familiar with. It almost looks like a rose. 20% off of $8.99. I don't know why, but recently I'm, I'm attracted to the white opalescent. It just has this elegance to it. That's neat. What is that? Bee and honey. Huh, there's, there is, there's like a hive and then bees around it. What is this? Is that contemporary or is it old? I don't know the answer, but it's only $12.99. I think I'll pick it up. Found some cool stuff here the last few times. Pottery girl with long lashes. Hmm. Seen her before. Pottery flower frog. Oh. Ernest on your rinconata? Maybe. <laughs> Ten bucks. He's got a little chip on his lip. Only ten dollars, I'll take them. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see. You.